Proxitech UK is an industrial 3D printing company. We're really trying to push the productivity. We run big machines to produce parts from one to a thousand cost effectively. We generally serve to foundries who are supplying to aerospace, so we have parts going on planes as we speak. And those foundries may also serve motorsport or automotive, oil and gas, so big industrial components. We can print in sand, that gets used for sand casting. It enables bigger parts to be made and very cost effectively. It typically gets used for sort of automotive components. We've got the investment casting process, and that's giving you lots of detail, so it can go quite small if you want to do small intricate metal pieces. And we also have a plastic printer. If you wanted something that was maybe more tactile, more handleable by somebody, that process is really good for that. We started off actually doing props for the film industry. So we've made things for Star Wars, James Bond, where they've actually used our raw material and then they, the artist has made it look real, so painting. So that's how, how we started in the art sector. But increasingly, we're using it in the more industrial sense in terms of using it for casting applications, where they're taking our, our product and using it to form the cast metal, a bronze statue, for example. And that's helping get to a level of realism, a level of scale that they haven't been able to do before. And it's taking out a lot of time it's a great moment for Foundry in the art industry and design world because artists and designers are quite curious about new technologies and they're really using computer-aided designs and sculpting software. Artists can collect and scan three-dimensional objects and manipulate them like no other material without limits. What I really like about the Green Man project is that it's trying to bring in a digital aspect into a very analogue statue really. It's about the traditional method of casting, but it's using the very latest technology to create it. Fox Street are very diligent and have a lot of time for us. Just that close noticing of what we need from the casting and the detail within all the projects has been a great collaboration. I'm hoping that we can uh, allow the artists to expand their horizons. I'm not an artist myself, so knowing where those horizons are is very difficult for me, and I'm excited to see what may come back. Often with artists, there's a lot of ideas floating around there and they end up getting limited by manufacturing capabilities and technologies. We're opening up those possibilities and therefore opening up the minds of the artists.